question we have to ask with these two women is, can we improve their overall health? Can we reduce their overall cancer-specific mortality? Can we improve their body composition and metabolic health? And can we also improve their quality of life, mental health, sleep, mobility, strength, physical function, reduce falls and hip fracture risk, increase bone mineral density, and save healthcare system billions of dollars? Right, so you all know where this is going. There's, there's only one thing that can do that, and in, it's in exercise. So the issue is not all exercise is the same. Right, not all exercise is the same in non-cancer populations, and not all exercise is the same in cancer population. The big issue in the cancer world is that if you review the data, we have not been taking non-cancer population theories and applying them to the cancer population. Right, a woman comes in after getting a lumpectomy and a sentinel lymph node biopsy, and I'm worried that she's gonna get lymphedema, so I have her walk on a treadmill. Right, then I send her to get a DEXA scan, and I see that her bone mineral density hasn't changed. Well, you wouldn't expect it to change. So we, we're, we're, we keep repeating this error. And if you look at a lot of the studies, especially the breast cancer studies, you see a lot of negative studies, and that's why. The, these women are no different than the general population. We're just backing off them. And if anything, these are the women where we need to step it up. So the one on the left here is doing leg, uh, leg extensions. So this is a quad workout, right? So she may get some more muscle mass in her quads, and that's going to be it, right? She's not going to get better mobility. She's not going to get better functioning. She's not going to get better bone mineral density, but in a study, that's considered exercise, right? So if we send her to a DEXA scan and look at her spine, there's gonna be no benefit. And we're gonna say, ah, exercise doesn't work. There's something about cancer patients that it just doesn't work. But we know that it won't work in that setting. You look at the middle, this woman's doing a goblet squat, right? Every joint in her body is loaded right now. Every muscle's working. Her quads are pumping away. Her glutes are keeping her stable. She's increasing her mobility. She's increasing her function. If, if you want someone to not fall and break their hip, especially someone with weak bones, who's not, who's not gonna break a hip there? The woman on the left or the woman in the middle? Obviously the woman in the middle. The woman on the right I buy raw butter from, she just cleaned that and this is, she's insane. She's in her 60s, but, but look at her. She's not gonna fall and break a hip ever, right? She's gonna live to 120. So, so if I have someone coming through my clinic on an agent that's gonna decrease their bone mineral density, who am I gonna be happiest with there? The, the two on the right. Thank you.